Hi, I'm Michael Arabelle, and I'm going to show off some of the improvements that are ongoing for Fronix Test Suite 5.0 Plavsk, which is due out in March of this year. Um, in particular, in the past few days, uh, I've been working on the user interface support for mobile devices, particularly iOS and Android devices. And this is a very early work in progress for the HTML5 UI for mobile devices. Um, it's all the same basic benchmarking features. Uh, this happens to be remotely connected to an AMD Kaveri system. And so we have all the same information that you're used to when locally running the Front Access Suite. The assortment of real-time graphs. Uh, we can easily see all the different benchmark results. Recently updated tests, most popular tests. That's all information queried via openbenchmarking.org. Um, so we remotely were allowed to then view all of our nice results. Um, check, find more system information. break down all the different result data in various ways. And then we're also able to remotely execute tests and manage tests via this HTML5 interface with its uh, connectivity to openbenchmarking.org and PTS being via WebSockets. Um, for easy purposes, we'll just run Open Arena since that's very quick. You have all the same settings and whatnot as in the local version of PTS. Again, this interface is very primitive for the time being. Okay, so then over here, we're already starting to run the Fronix test suite. And as you can see here, we still have all of our, these results, the graphs will be much larger in the final mobile version, this is still mostly desktop oriented. As well as making that graph real time. Rather than just being interrupted every once in a while. Any other user interface contributions and optimizations are also of course welcome under the GPL v3 and the code is now hosted on GitHub. And now we immediately have our results available for access on openbenchmarking.org. Uh, this is still the desktop version of openbenchmarking.org with our result. From there we can easily compare it to different systems and take advantage of all the other existing front access suite features. And so that's our brief overview of where we're at right now for pre-milestone one of Fronix Suite 5.0 on the mobile front. Uh, stay tuned for more information on Fronix in the weeks ahead.